All right, welcome back everyone. Um, this is another series on the stool that I'm making for my trailer. Um, I got the aluminum, I have some paint. Um, I don't have the screws that I want to use, but I think I'm going to use these masonry nails. They have this really thick um, appearance to them and I think they'll work fine. Uh, the aluminum trim is mostly just for aesthetics, um, but I can see in the picture that there is a trimming around the top and around the sides. Uh, it's just to give it more dimension and maybe some ruggedness, I guess, but mostly just for the look. I am going for that um, same style that they have in the photo. And I did have to redo my stencil. It came out too big for me, so I had to redo the size. Let's get started. So as you can see, here it is. It's all dry. Um, here's the trim I'm going to use. Just uh, what it looks like. So my plan is I'm just going to put this up to the edge. And I need to take a marker and mark the inner sides where I need to cut. There's one. I'm going to label that as one. So now let's go cut it. There's our mark. Let's go cut it on this. I just put this on my clamp table. And I'm just going to try to make a first cut. Another one, same thing. Let's put that down in there. Let's get this one off. Now that, you, now that you've uh, you've uh, cut off your aluminum trim, if you're going to use aluminum trim, um, it's best that you file down the edges because you got this rough edge and you don't want that.
I'll just do that a bunch of times and you'll be good. There we go. Okay, there we are. We're all filed down and smooth. You can touch them now. You're gonna feel like you're gonna cut your fingers off. Um, let's go uh, on to the next step. So here's your trim. I already put some on the bottom, but this is how they fit. There's one, there's two. Looks great. So now what's next is I need to drill where I'm thinking about putting the nail. And I'm thinking about putting the nail in somewhat random places. It doesn't matter to me how precise it looks. Um, I want the rugged feel. I want it to feel like it was made 100 years ago. Um, so I know there's a nail there, there's a nail there, and there's a nail there. So as long as I keep it within, you know, out of the nails area. I want it kind of close. So maybe one, you know, let's do it. Let's do one right there. There's one. Um, I don't think. Maybe. I think I might glue these two. I'm going to go ahead and use epoxy again. I showed you in the last video of how I mixed the epoxy. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to use this epoxy just to, for an extra support. Um, it might not do anything. It might, it might not, I don't know, but I feel like I just want to put this because just in case these nails fail or something, then at least I have this backup for at least some kind of sticking and to help prevent the wood from rotting out inside. Let's go ahead and drill our second hole. Um, Put it right. Put it right there. And let's do one. It's not really. Let's do one maybe around. Two inches. So I was going to put another hole, it would be roughly there. And I was going to put another hole, it would be roughly there. That's how many holes I want to put in. Some epoxy down. I'm gonna put it on a on the aluminum. Oops. Some of the aluminum, and then we can 
this one on the this, this uh, epoxy might not do anything, but uh, I like to go a little overboard with my projects sometimes, and I just want them to last. So this is what I this is what I would do. And once again, you don't have to do it this way. You can do it every way you want. Um, this is just how I would do it because it is just me. Um, but you can do it whatever way you want, whatever you feel that you want to do because it's your project. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Epoxy and get some nails. Where are these nails? The way they work. Um, don't know if I need a nail right now. Oh. that rustic but vintage look so I'll use these nails once again these are masonry nails they're not what they're intended for but feel like they have that that certain look to them beefy and it's more just aesthetic it looks kind of even um, all right so I need number one on this side. There. Um, fits best like that, so that's where we need to go with it. Um, let's try to do that. So is that an inch away? And what does that look like? There, this would be about two, so we'll do there, two again, we'll do there, and then two again, and we'll do there, there. That's what we'll do it. Okay. Slipping on me a little bit. Still slipping. Let's at least get one on because I don't want this glue to dry. Drill the rest of this. I'm no 
expert. This is the kind of stuff I build. Uh, I just have the impulse to build something. And right now, this is what I want to build. Okay. Let's see if we can get that in there. We can drill these and they won't be able to move. I felt better. A little bit of epoxy on it. that that gives it a look right okay let's do these so this is three goes with three I marked it this is four goes with four boom so let's do the same thing as we did the other side an inch from the top and then two inches the rest of the way Up, roughly right around there, two inches right around there, two inches right around there, and then Thing over here. Get in there. Oops. One, two, two. This one. Let's try this one out. Let's glue these because I'm afraid that the epoxy is going to glue or, or dry me. It was a warmer day out today in California. The sun decided to come out finally. Still a cool breeze, but. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, I'm 
just slipped out of my fingers. Get this nail in. Epoxy on this one. Hold those in there. See on the end. Just do that one. Like see on the end. Starting to dry on me, I can feel it. Uh, let's get that in there. You can see it. It's starting to dry. We might just make it. Gives it a little bit of dimension and uh, a look. Now, you're probably wondering how I got this. I was trying to figure it out too, but I think I found a solution to get this angle. You're going to want to get one of these. 
and you're going to want to use that side. So line this up with your edge. You're also going to need one of these. So put this on the edge. You're going to want to push it against. You know, this is probably not the right way. I'm sure there's an easier way, but this is all I have. I work with what I got, and we'll see if this works. But it seems like it will. I don't see why it wouldn't, but we're going to try. So you're going to want to mark it, and we'll go see if we can cut. This is the method I used. Um, can I just use this? Pick that. Look at that angle. I'm going to get that straight edge. Pick that side. And you put that there. And then you just cut. Well, you cut, and then cut, and then um, file it down, and then you get a somewhat nice edge. As you can see, it's, it's working. It's just probably not the best way. This is all I've been using is a metal saw. As you can see, trim is on. If you're scared that it's going to move, your best attempt is to tape it onto the piece. And that way you can get the best fitment um, so that you can drill your holes. Now you get a better idea on how it's going to fit. Not too bad. I'm happy with that. Here we go. Once again with our epoxy. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do epoxy all around the edge. And we're going to put those nails on the... Uh, I think we can do them on the top. Alright guys, uh, there it is. My hands are filled with epoxy and uh, I got a hole in one of my gloves. But there it is, it's got the aluminum trim all around, glued with epoxy. Um, I used masonry nails. Uh, they were nice and, um, they looked old. That's the style that I'm going for and I want it to look um, to period. You know, 1936, 1937, what would they do? They might have not used epoxy, but I use epoxy because I want this, this stool to last a long time. Um, and I am going for more of a rugged look, but original, like if I found it in a barn. Um, tune in for next time for the painting. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and leave a comment if you like. Um, tell me how you would build this or um, what tools would you use. Um, I am no expert, I am no professional. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I build um, and I just make it work and have fun. Thanks for watching.